Hey everybody, and welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at uh, taking the power supply apart and cleaning it. Um, so just some quick info on it. This monster is 3U tall, um, and there's not really much to look at as far as the case goes. Um, you've got a front-mounted Harding connector. You've got your plus 18, minus 18, and 48 volt um, indicator lights. Um, you've got some nice little handles, and it's in beautiful Midas purple. And on the back, you've got another Harding socket, and then you also have a um, a, a funky looking IS or IEC IEC cable, an SS3A socket, which is not super common. Um, at least in my world, I have not seen one of these in the wild. Um, so this power supply was designed by PSU Designs Limited, which I, I found out from an earlier uh, conversation with a tech just as I was trying to scour the internet for one of these because my console actually did not come with the Harding cables or the supplies. So I ended up finding this, this guy on eBay. So, um, all right, uh, we are going to take this thing apart, but before we do, I should point out that these are not Phillips screws. They are actually posi drive screws. So if you have a Midas supply or anything of this vintage that looks like it's a Phillips screwdriver, you should use a posi drive. So let's uh, let's get this thing apart. Okay, so we've got this thing open. Um, so in some of my earlier videos, I was saying that I had a theory that this actually might be the original power supply for the console. Um, there's an asset tag on the console that says this was from LMG's office in Phoenix. And, excuse me, on the Harding cable, it actually says Heritage 2000 Phoenix on it. Um, and upon further inspection on the inside of this power supply... There's a, uh, a test code of 91 of 2002. So um, just doing a quick little inspection of, of what we're seeing. Um, everything is actually very clean in here. Um, I mean, the fans, are, the fans are a little bit dirty, but that is certainly to be expected. Um, the caps look like they're in good shape. Um, there isn't anything that's bulging, uh, which was kind of my fear as we as we came in here. Um, again, just even though Midas didn't necessarily build this, it's very neat. Like you, you have to admire larger electronics in this way. Um, I feel like in 2020, everything is so small and so integrated. When you look at projects like, or, you know, projects or pieces like this that are just sort of very neatly laid out. It's, it's certainly something to be admired. Um, so as far as cleaning goes on this, I think I'm just going to take the route of very simply vacuuming it out and just, and just grabbing, um, just grabbing any of the internal uh, components that I can. I'm going to try to clean the fan blades. It looks like it's actually kind of involved to get these fans out. Um, and, and they don't look super, super dirty. So I think I think just some, some light maintenance will do. Um, the, the chassis itself uh, comes apart in it, its three pieces, just if anybody is curious. Uh, this piece and this the bottom piece are bent. Um, the face piece is a standalone unit, and this is the top, which essentially looks like a rack shelf for all intents and purposes. So um, that's a, just a basic overview of the uh, of the power supply. Now uh, let's get it cleaned up. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so we've got everything pretty much cleaned here. Uh, here's uh, just a quick close-up of the uh, the dirty pads, and this is what came off. So, um, this we followed the same cleaning procedure for the uh, the console. So it was alcohol. It was our uh, multi-purpose automotive cleaner, and then we coated it with some wax. So um, a lot of the surface scratches kind of came out. Um, this power supply is not in bad shape. The uh, the Midas purple color is really looking good though. Um, there's our Harding connector. I'm gonna clean the cord too. So uh, this guy is uh, is ready to go. So uh, we'll start uh, cleaning channel modules on the next video. Thanks for stopping by.